Reno police need help piecing together the last hours of a man's life. Roommates found him dead on a couch Sunday afternoon. News 9 Steve Shaw is live outside the state medical examiner's office where it was determined how he died. Steve? Kelly, the medical examiner says something called a subdural hematoma did Matthew Little Elk in. The question is, who did it? Okay. We're trying to wake him up. We're trying to wake him up. Police rushed to the home on Stone Glen Drive just after 4 Sunday afternoon. Inside, 28-year-old Matthew Little Elk wasn't breathing on a living room couch, and he had a big bump on the top of his head. Pull him onto the floor, man. Pull him onto the floor. Put him on the floor. She said put him on the floor. Put him on the floor. What investigators are trying to figure out is where Little Elk was before he got hit in the head. Or maybe he didn't get hit in the head. Police say Little Elk lived here. His roommates found him. They told police they saw Little Elk in the backyard hours before they found him dead. And he walked up, said, hey, you know, somebody beat me up or I was jumped, something to that effect. They don't really remember for sure. Can I, you know, I'm just going to go lay down. Police did end up arresting Leah Elledge for an outstanding warrant and her son Dylan for possession of drug paraphernalia. Yeah, you know, if anybody's got any information, if anybody saw him during the night, you know, to kind of get a time frame put together on where he was, like you say, they had been drinking, uh, where he arrived at. Because this is a suspicious death, a little elk's body was brought here to the state medical examiner. Live on the scene on the story in Oklahoma City, Steve Shaw, News 9.